Hello everybody and welcome back to StarCraft where we are about to be under a pretty hefty attack here. So I'm spawning a million Zerglings. Let's get Carapace level 3 as well. And we should probably consider that we need to... Oh, they have an overload here. Look at that. Okay. We need to get some defenses here then. So let's go ahead and get a hatchery up. And yeah, that's to be expected. And our Lings are currently just running in, which isn't good. Okay, we are able to certainly blunt the attack, so that's good. Oh, they do have another Ultra coming. That's less good. Okay, certainly less good. Well, our defenses should, I think, be able to hold-ish. Maybe. We've also got these Hydras up here. Okay, yes, our defenses did indeed hold. Fantastic. And then these lings are going to come up here and finish this all off. Okay. Where are those hydras at, though? That's, that's my main question right now. Okay, we're going to have everybody meet right up here again. So, rally points up over here. And we need to just hold that position at this point. So Hydras, I want you guys up here as well. And I am going to spawn three Ultras now. Hydras, Hydras, Zerglings, and Zerglings. Okay. Carapace is still on the way. So there is that. Our defense is held, however. And now we need to just hold this choke point. That's the goal right now. If we can hold that choke point, then we're pretty much good. So we have some lings on the way in. We also have some hydras. And I think we can hold it as long as we actually have a decent sized force there. Including with the fully upgraded ultras. Go on. There you go. They'll be fully upgraded once their carapace is done. Although maybe they get melee upgrades? Level 3 upgrades, and level 3 upgrades. Yeah, I think they have the melee upgrades, so I think we're good. Okay. More Hydras, more Hydras, more Overlords, and some Zerglings. We're basically out of minerals at this point. However, this is going to be a pretty devastating force, I think. We are going to wait for Carapace to finish, though. Absolutely. And I'm going to send this Ultralisk up here, too. So a fourth Ultralisk on the way up. Excellent. A few more Lings while we're waiting. And another group of Hydras, I think. Yeah, we do require more minerals. That's to be expected, though. I'm on, only on two base. I should probably expand. I'm going to go ahead and do that, actually. I'm going to have this, this guy come up here and prepare to expand. Okay. Carapace is almost done. Come on, Carapace. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, we don't yet have missile attacks level 3, but that's okay. We're going. And this is going to be a huge attack. Overlords, you guys can get out of there. Get on in here. Everybody we got. Get on in. It's going to be positively enormous. Everybody we've got, get in here. You guys too. Absolutely everyone. Okay. In the meantime, let's be making additional Ultralisks if we can. But we can't, because we need minerals. Okay. Well, regardless, this should be a devastating attack that they can't recover from. Theoretically, anyway. They do have more bases down over this direction. This Zergling can come on in. This is certainly a devastating attack. They're going to have a very hard time recovering from this, just in terms of sheer production. Let alone anything else. Oh, they're suiciding in their overlords now. 
I did see some guys heading that way, but luckily we do have a few troops coming to hold this pass. So there is that. Yeah, they're definitely suiciding in their overlords. Our Ultralisk isn't really doing much attacking these eggs. Let's bring him down here. Attack their Hydralisk den. Okay, and they've got more Terran units over here, actually. To defend this. So let's come on down over here and... We can't actually win the fight against those Terran units, but we did basically kill that base. And we can also, at this point, go ahead and expand here. Which I am going to do. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a bunch of lings. We have a drone here too, so we may as well expand over here as well. Yeah, we have some idle drones. Let's make some expansions. Excellent. With this, we should be in a good position. Oh, hello. They have a race here. That's okay, we'll pull it out of position. Yeah, and I don't think they can beat that Ultralisk. Yeah, no, that ain't happening. And now we have Lings on the way up. Excellent. So this drone can come on up here. We are going to need a hatchery ASAP. We're not going to be able to get one for a little bit. Yeah, their Wraith is just dead. We need minerals at this point. Our mineral income is currently low to moderate. I'm going to be working on some drones over here, actually. And I'm also going to spawn some drones here. Now that's going to delay this hatchery a little bit, but we'll be able to use them up over here, is the idea. And these drones can go take minerals over here. Perfect. This hatchery is now complete, and we have drones transferring up. Excellent. These drones can all come up over here. We've got plenty of gas at this point, so there is that. Also, we are now fully evolved, so there's that as well. Okay, so now we have some much, much better drone income. Or rather, mineral income. Yeah, go ahead and kill those Zerglings. That's not a big deal. They just wasted 50 minerals. I'm okay with this. And we can now build this hatchery, and I'm going to go ahead and get that started. This drone can go ahead and take minerals, and we're going to make two more drones here. We're also going to make, I think, three more drones here. Because I think we've got plenty of space for drones. So we did make really fast progress, but now we're kind of hitting that stall out point. But that's mostly because I need to expand. I'm going to make some more drones here for the purposes of expansion. Unless they fly, they can't come in over this way, so that's fine. These drones can go ahead and take minerals here, but I think we're otherwise reasonably good at this expansion. Okay, do we have any drones up in this pile currently? No, we do not. We do have these drones. One of them is going to build a hatchery right here. There we go. One of them is actually going to come up here to mine. And then one of them is going to build a hatchery right down here. We don't actually need too many, too many drones down there, but... Okay, we're in a reasonably good position right now. I'm going to go ahead and queue up a few more overlords. But yes, we definitely need minerals. But that's what we're working on. Taking all the expansions. Okay. Excellent. I'm going to be working on a few more drones. Because we definitely do need them. And these are all going to be coming up to this base for right now. There we go. And we've got these three drones that I actually forgot about. They can come up here as well. Absolutely excellent. These overlords don't need to go up there. These drones, I think, are going to come to this base. Because this drone, or this base should now be relatively self-sufficient. And this base actually doesn't need that many drones. So, I don't think we need to transfer any up there. So these three can all come up here then. And then I'd say we're relatively good up there. These three can, can mine here. 
and then we've got this hatchery, which can go ahead and create itself some drones. Okay. I think that's relatively good. And now we've actually got some mineral income again. So let's go ahead and build a few more ultralisks, some hydras, some zerglings, and some hydras. And also, some zerglings, because we can now produce on even more hatcheries. <laughs> so, there's that. There we go. And as far as this is concerned, these should become drones. Excellent. And this one is going to become a drone as well. I don't think we need to make any more drones. We can transfer our drones at this point as we mine out bases. So that should be fine as far as drone mineral production goes. This drone can go ahead and mine, as can these two. And we'll make two more drones here, and then we'll call it good on drones. Okay. So um, we've got our, ourselves another big ol' force. We'll see if they expanded here. Let's see. Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. Looks like they have not. Good for them. Okay. Well, that Guardian should be dying to our Hydras, but our Hydras are not wanting to kill it. There we go. Okay, they have a tank embedded up on that hill. We just kind of want to run by it, realistically. Okay. They also have a battle cruiser there. Okay, so let's get some Hydras, let's get some Hydras, let's get some Zerglings, let's get some Hydras, let's get some Hydras, some Zerglings. You can go ahead and mine, as can you, and then we can group up up here with Hydras, and finally, Zerglings and Hydras. Okay, so we definitely did damage with that attack, there's no doubt about that. We made our way pretty pretty deep into their territory, actually. And we've got a whole lot more units streaming their way in. And we're gonna have even more. Because our production is a little bit on the insane side. Okay, let's get an ultra. And actually, you are not grouping up over here. Excellent. There we go. I would be holding here, except this territory is kind of contested and difficult to actually hold. Let's go ahead and keep the pressure up. Let's continue to keep this pressure up. And continue to keep the pressure up. And continue to keep the pressure up. And then we will be producing even more units. This one is actually going to be Ultralisks, but I'm going to produce a pretty heavy Hydra composition. And let's go ahead and attack down in here with this force, because they're not going to be expecting another force so soon. There's going to be very little they can actually do about it as we come in with this Ultralisk. Yeah. They're kind of being overrun at this point. There we go. Excellent. So I think this is the final Terran base. I think there might be another Zerg base off over this direction. It's kind of hard to tell, though. But I'm going to queue us up some more units. I'm actually going to get three more Overlords as well. So Hydras, Hydras. This is going to be Ultras. This is going to be Zerglings. Zerglings, Hydras, and Zerglings. And we've got this force ready to go. So let's go ahead and come on in. And we've got a lot of guys here, in fact. We're, we're going to be kind of, or rather, they're going to be kind of hard-pressed to fend this attack off. I hope. Because it comes so soon after our previous one. And is... Once again, a very substantial attack. There we go. Yeah, they're definitely hard-pressed to fend this off. 
we're on so many more bases than them. So let's get a few more Ultras. Hydras. Hydras. Zerglings. 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 Hydras. Hydras. And Hydras. Okay, we're out of Vespian gas. That's interesting. Well, we do have this force that is now ready to attack. However, they have not fended off our previous attack yet. So let's go ahead and start sending some guys off over into this direction here. And then we'll just finish this off over here. So this, this force down here can go ahead and continue pushing over this way, finish off the Terran base. And then we do see over here some more structures, but not really that much, realistically. Okay. Well, we'll take out the Wraith. But I, I don't really care about the Wraith. And in the meantime, we'll check for additional structures, but it looks like it's just these defensive structures that are unmanned and not really doing anything. Okay. Well, it looks like this is pretty much it. There's very little left here. But we do see that there's a turret here. We'll go take that out. There's also this wraith. Being obnoxious. Okay. Um, what do they have left? Other than that... There we go. It was just that turret. Arcturus, you may take possession of this world with my blessings. Don't be snide, Kerrigan. This was part of the deal, remember? I've earned this. I am Emperor of the Dominion again. I'll be sending General Duke to establish my base of operations in Augustgrad. I hope you make the most of your reign. Oh, I'm sure he will. Well, there we go. That was easier than expected, actually. I was expecting that one to be a little bit more difficult and have to grind my way through a little bit more. I mean, we did grind our way through. Like, realistically, produced 721 units, lost 538 of them. But that's fine. I don't care. Okay. Well, let's see what's next here. Only their forces on Char pose any significant threat to me. It's time to move to the second phase of my plan. And what of your allies here in Korhal, my queen? What would you have done with them? They are of no further use to me. Though they have proven themselves useful, it might be dangerous to allow them to live. Without the services of General Duke, Nyx will be easy to deal with. But Raynor and Phoenix are uncannily resourceful. They must all be eradicated. Cerebrate, I want both General Dukes and Phoenix's bases destroyed. Leave no one alive. My queen, if I may suggest a strategy. Both the Protoss and Terran forces are resting after our previous victory. If we attack immediately while most of them are asleep and unaware, we can whittle down their defenses with relative ease. Clever. How long after our initial attack can we expect them to regroup and retaliate? I'd say in six minutes. That only gives us enough time to launch a surprise attack against one base, but it is a sound plan. Cerebrate, feel free to launch your initial attack against either base. Failure is not an option. Slaughter them all in my name. Well, you know, that sounds... fun. <laughs> so... We have one base to attack, and we can choose to attack either the Terran or the Protoss base. Now, I would have to say that Protoss bases feel easier to take to me. So if we have to take on one, I'd kind of rather take on the Protoss base, because for one thing, their static defenses are so weak. Cannons are incredible, incredibly weak, and what are they going to do, mass carrier against us? I mean... AI is probably not going to do that. So realistically, I feel like that is better for us to take on than fortified bunkers with tanks and battlecruisers behind them. 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking right now, is that we take out the Terran base first. But let's see how this goes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've got ourselves our Zerglings here. Oh, okay. Hang on. Hang on a moment. So, which one... Our, our timer is starting now. Which one is the Protoss base and which one is the Terran base? This is the Protoss base. Okay. Get on over here, guys. Okay, we need to get over here and take on these bases. Okay. And then, in the meantime, we need to be working on... our defenses, because we're almost certainly going to be attacked immediately, as soon as this is up. Uh, let's work on... Oh, we need gas. Uh... Yeah, yeah. But if we can eliminate one side, then that's going to be huge for us. We definitely need gas. I'm going to build a creep colony over here. And a second one over here. Okay. So we're still working on this over here. Let's go ahead and take on this up here. And these lurkers, I'm going to go park them down over, like, in this mineral line over here. Our forces are under attack. Oh, really? Okay. They do have some small amount of resistance. Okay, and... Wait, we can't burrow? Oh, no. The lurkers can burrow. Okay, we're fine. There we go. Okay, and we'll just stick them right here. For right now. Zerglings, come on down. We're going to need to definitely do as much damage as we can. So, come on down. Excellent. We've only got about three more minutes, so let's get some drones rolling here. We're going to get some sunken colonies, and we're going to get this one evolving into a lair as soon as we can. But we need gas for that. So let's get some drones. And these hydras can go ahead and take out this command center. We're going to want to expand over to here ASAP, probably. So I'm going to go ahead and move a drone over here. These two in gas. And then this one in gas. Actually, two in gas, I think. And then let's build a colony right about here. And these hydras can come on over here. Take on that. We'll build a hatchery right here. There we go. Now, we've got a very limited amount of time left. And we have not done nearly as much damage as I would have liked. But we have done a lot of damage. There's no doubt about that. Let's bring this Hydra up over here. And then these Hydras can take out these Marines. And then we'll assault this position next. Ah, take out the SCV. Come on. <laughs> There we go. Okay. This drone can go ahead and build an evolution chamber, I think we need. We've got a hydralisk den. So, yeah, I think we need an evolution chamber. There we go. I'm going to make this a sunken colony. Since that's basically our only option at this point. Okay. And then we've got that there, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and come down here. We've only got 30 seconds left at this point. So let's go ahead and take on this right here. And we do have these lings. Let's go ahead and put on the pressure down here. Excellent. Get our melee attacks going. There we go. Yeah, that's to be expected. Their defenses won't last long against us. We did manage to take out one of their bases, which is pretty huge. So that's good. Now, we do still need some more drones over here. 
And specifically, yeah, this is, this is fine. Let's see, these drones here can go ahead and start mining. There we go. Hydras, take out their Goliaths, please. Okay, yeah, they're now starting to actually fight back. But we did take out one base. So that's good. Okay. So we've got these Hydras here. We do need some spore colonies off over this direction. There we go. But we need a lot more drones. Like, we need a lot more drones. I'm going to go ahead and build a colony over here. There we go. Yeah, there's a shocker. Come on, guys. Get over here. Defend this. Protoss are now attacking us. Come on. Oh, are they upgraded? Nope, they're just that strong. That's to be expected, I guess. Okay, we've got this Lurker. I'm going to go ahead and burrow this Lurker right here. And now they're not going to have a choice. Okay, and now we're under attack over here heavily. Wow, that's um some coordinated attacks they've got there. That's really obnoxious. Okay. Oh, come on. We need our Zerglings. Where are they? There they are. Take out that... Nope. Nuclear launch? Wow. They're really going ham. And why can't I spawn Zerg... Oh, we lost our spawning pool. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting them to attack this hard right away like this. They launched their nuke over there. Okay, so I think I've failed this mission at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and end the mission and put a cut in here. And next episode, I know more what I'm getting into, and we'll see how it goes next time that I uh, actually start this up. See you all then.